Hello everybody, it's uh, me, Emoji, you forgot me here. Uh, I'm here to make a quick YouTube video. Uh, yeah, quick. It's uh, about Minecraft again. Uh, as you guys can see, I have a bunch of plugins on my phone, on my uh, desktop here, but I'm going to show you guys one specific uh, plugin that uh, I would like to show you guys. So, uh, this, this plugin is how to get Authcraft, which is basically the slash register slash login command that you can get onto your uh, account to make basically people to stop getting into other people's accounts and if you guys don't know how to do that I uh, basically it is how somebody can easily just change their name into your name and get onto your account so what you guys would need to have is hmod hmod uh, the latest one of course go through all the links uh, and obviously right now there is hmod build 37 it is recommended I will I would I would get it if I was you most likely so I would get that first once you have that make sure you guys back up your worlds before you uh, before you make your world or if you already have a world uh, so what you guys will need to do go to hmod forms go to plugin releases and look halfway down I haven't really looked so it's probably on the first page it's really really used yeah right there alright it's called authcraft by n s u i d whatever yeah um there is another guy that does it i would prefer him better uh... so if you find this guy i think it's the first guy right here um, animosity i'm pretty sure he made it yeah see um, i don't know he might have made this i don't know but uh... either of these guys work uh, it shows you what it fixed, what what he does, and right here it says download. All you have to do is click that. Downloads right away. Download it. Open. Oh, never mind. I can't open that. Uh, basically, go down to it. Count that jar. See how it says account that jar? I don't like this. Uh, so what you would want to do this? You can choose this. I personally don't like it. So. Uh, Basically, I wouldn't do it. Type in auth craft here, and then hit OK. It says your shirts will be submitted. And it says auth craft compatibility, account to auth craft, auth craft problem, auth craft version two one three two. That is what I like to use. Um, this one, the, uh, or no, this one. Auth craft alternate side. Yeah, see animosity. I was correct. Um. <coughs> I personally like this one better, considering it's a lot easier to understand. Um, what you need to do is you need to download it. You should download right away. Uh, you want to you want to save it. Uh, save, but I have a, a I downloaded Safari, which makes it ten times easier to do stuff. Uh, so what you need to do: take it, find it, show a containing folder. And then just basically just drag this to if you have that. But if you if you already can save it to your desktop, save it to your desktop. You always want to have it on your desktop. So what you would need to do, you need to go to your server, go into I already have my server all set up. This is my server. I actually have the plugin in here. What you need to do is you need to put in Authcraft. Authcraft right there. Uh, you need to put that in the server plugins folder. After you do that, you need to go down pretty good bit. Um, and you go into your server properties. You need to put this into the plugins line. Authcraft, make sure the spelling is correct. Only capital letters is A and C. Everything else is lowercase. Make sure you put a comma in between each uh, plugin that you have. I didn't do anything to that, so it should be good. Okay, and uh, it makes this for you, it makes the Authcraft thing for you. What you need to do after that is you need to. Yeah, that's basically it. You need to start up your server. Now if you have set uh, 1.7, I think it is, I think it's version, 137. If you have 137, you'll have two. Uh, either one of them works. Uh, I choose server node UI, not just server. Uh, click on it, and it should do all its work. Mine takes pretty quickly, but it also downloads a bunch of stuff. Um, and then you let that run, the first time run. Let me uh, please. Alright, uh, it, it had an error code because of iChat, 
Alright, I don't have it plugged. I didn't have it in. See, it's on my desktop. Alright, once it's done loading completely, type in stop. And then go back into the server server properties. When you go back into the server properties, it added some stuff to it. Go part the way down. And uh, it should say register offline, and it will say false. You got to make that true to make it actually have the, the stuff for it. Um, Basically, that's what it says right here. Stuff, um, but when it, make sure that says true, not false. Um, basically, then go file save, uh, click close that out, and then you can start it up again. When you start it up again, uh, hold on, let me start it up again. Start it up. Start it up. Start it up. Start it up. Okay. Um, you start it up again. Oh, why did I start up so far? Uh, Minecraft. And yes, my Minecraft is probably different from the cracked version you guys have. As you can see, I have a password thing, but I don't type in a password thing for it. Um, let it load. Go to multiplayer. That's my server IP. You, you cannot get in through this server IP, so don't even try. Login. And it should say, please identify yourself with login. That password. I would type in my log, my password, and uh, basically I would log in, you type login and then password this is what happens, say I've typed in the wrong password, say I type in you forgot me as my password, that's not my password invalid password right there uh, I'm not going to show you guys my password considering people trying to get into my account and hack my account and make me look like I grieved but basically that's um that's guys, that's the plugin uh, if you guys liked it Please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, that's basically it. Thanks.